Okay, in this video, I hope to uh, teach you the prompt function to get input from the user, um, talk about the IPO algorithm, input process outputs, and set up a JS template that'll make it easier for us to start new projects. Okay, so again, I'm still in my main.js program here. Let's get rid of this. And yeah, this is actually pretty good here. I'm going to save that. Um, hello, Mr. Valkamp. And I actually want to show you first in the console here. Remember how I showed you we could do the alert function here and put whatever message we wanted to? Hi. So very similar to alert is another function called prompt. And these functions are, are built-in functions. They, they're a part of JavaScript, right? They're commands that uh, belong to the JavaScript language. In fact, if I type the word prompt without the parentheses, it shows me that, oh, this, this F stands for function. It's a function called prompt, and it contains native code, right? Code that comes as part of the JavaScript language, all right? So to, to call this native code, to run this function, we use the parentheses. And I must have done this before. I can click on this, and we're going to say prompt, what is your name? Now, the prompt function, similar to the alert function, opens up uh, a window here. But this time, it has this little input box, right? So it types out the message, right? Same as the alert, what is your name? But now I can type something in here, and I can type in Mr. V and hit OK, and the prompt function returns whatever I typed in. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to do what is your name? Let's say Sarah, and it returns Sarah. Okay, so this prompt function displays the message, just like alert does. But alert, actually, you see this undefined here? This is what alert returns. It doesn't return anything. It's undefined. It returns undefined. But the prompt function returns whatever the user types in after they hit that OK button. So how can we use that? Well, instead of me typing this string in right here, I'm going to use what exactly what I typed in the console. Prompt, what is your name? Question mark. Okay. So this prompt function is going to open up that window with the input box in it. The user will type in their name, and then um, this prompt function will return whatever the user typed to this location here the username variable will be assigned whatever the prompt function returns. Okay, and then when I say hello username, it should output whatever's in the user there, or whatever they typed in. Okay, what is your name? Mr. V, and it says hello Mr. V. Awesome. Refresh to run it again. What is your name? George. Hello George. Right, what's happening here? Whatever the user types in gets saved into this variable, and then I alert hello whatever is in that variable. So cool. Okay, let's ask for something else. Let I did this earlier. Time of day, and we'll prompt what time of day is it? Question mark. Okay. Now this is where, and I'm going to change the code a little bit. I'm going to add a comment here. This is my input section. I'm getting input from the user. That's basically what it means, right? Getting data from the user. Then I want to process that data. Now this, we haven't totally done this yet. We've been going straight into the message here, but I wanna actually break this up a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call it message, or just MSG for short. Um, let message be assigned, and then I'm gonna do my backtick and I'm going to build my, my message. Hello, username, exclamation mark. Have a great dollar sign, braces, time of day, period. And then outside of the back ticks, I'll do a semicolon to end this statement. So remember, we do one line at a time. Prompt the user for their name stored in this variable. Prompt the user for the time of day stored in this variable. Create a variable called message and assign it to be this string, right? This template string where we insert these variables into the string. Hello, whatever's in here, have a great whatever's in here. And then we're going to alert whatever's inside of this message. And this is my last step, output. Okay, input, get input from the user. Process that input by building a message and then output the result. 
All right, let's save that and hope it works. What is your name? Uh, let's say, um, what do I want to do? Let's go Maria. What time of day is it? Morning. Hello, Maria. Have a great morning. Awesome. If I run it again, what is your name? Azra. It's afternoon. Hello, Azra. Have a great afternoon. All right, so we're building this, this input process output. Input from the user, process that input into a message, alert the message. Super cool. Okay, where, where, where are we here? We learned about the prompt function to get user input and store it in a variable. We learned about the IPO algorithm. Oh yeah, now let's set up a JS template for new projects. So I don't want to make every program in my Hello World project. Right? I've got my Hello World. Um, I'm going to make new projects and I should have a folder for each project. So what I'm going to suggest we do is let's create a new folder. I'm going to call it JS Templates. I'm going to do it all caps so it stands out. JS Template. And I'm going to drag this into the open spot or right click on it and say open with code. And what happened to my... Oh, I guess it relaunched. Okay, so it relaunched. And I'm going to go through the same steps I did before. Index.html. Okay, cool. New file. Style.css. Okay, new file. Main.js. Okay, go to index.html. Doc type HTML. See, the whole point of this is I already feel silly doing this because I did all of this earlier, and every time I make a new project, I have to do this, and I'm just going to say title. Uh, we need to link to our style sheet. We need to use our script tag, main.js. Um, sure, let's give it h1 js template paragraph. This uh, this is a template for JS JavaScript projects. I can type. We'll save that, go to my style sheet, do the same thing with the body, width of 600 pixels, margin auto, and maybe a little top margin to 25 pixels auto. Um, boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, and then a base font. Uh, you can also do Gil Sans this time. You can pick whatever font you want as your base font, or you can just leave it as a default, that's fine too. And maybe in my main.js, I'm going to just say... Um, program title and maybe just do a little console dot oh I haven't taught you console.log yet well I'm teaching you console.log now console.log hi um, you'll see what this does in a second all right go back to not here I closed that so that's done uh, we need to go live open up live server there it is okay and the reason I did that console.log is because when I open my console, it should say, hi. And it gives you this warning, some extension. I don't know, well, whatever. I don't want to figure it out. Okay, so main just line two, it says hi. So the console.log function um, is generally not that useful for a web page because most people that visit a website don't open the developer tools and look at the console. But it's a nice tool for us that we can write little messages into the console. We can log a message to the console. And it's useful sometimes for testing purposes. Um, but anyway, for now, it's just making sure that my JavaScript ran. Because let's say, for example, maybe in here I, I typed this wrong. I did made.js. And I save that. And I look at my console. Oh, error. Aborted. Couldn't find made.js. Not found. Right? Um, so something went wrong. So I want to make sure that is my JavaScript running properly? Hi, yes it is. Okay. Um, now the whole point of this is now I'm going to close this. Bye-bye. Close this. And now when I want to make a new project, I can simply copy and paste this folder and rename it and start from there. So I, I don't want to modify this. Um, 
right? I want to copy and paste this all the time so I have a nice starter template to go from. And I will show you that in the next video because in the next video we'll use this template in order to start a new project. Okay, hope that made sense. Prompt, IPO, JS template. See you in the next video.